What's up guys as the Halloween season comes to an end and the Thanksgiving and Christmas season come up here very very shortly I uh, just want to wish all of you a happy holidays and what better way to do that than with a giant 20 foot Santa Claus it's hard to even get this thing in the in the frame gotta get so far back This 20 foot Santa Claus we got at, believe it or not, Walmart. I usually don't buy a lot of Walmart decorating items, whether it be Halloween or, or Christmas. Usually because the quality's not there. Then we saw this in the store, and not only were we blown away by its size, but I was actually really surprised with its quality. Sorry for the noise, guys so big it's got to be out here by the road but I was really really surprised at the quality and double stitching the heavy duty uh, not only the yeah, tie downs but the stakes that come with it the ropes that come with it it's got dual fan motors it's illuminated all throughout the the Santa Claus on the inside it just seems to be built really really well um, they do not recommend and I will not and I don't recommend um, putting this up when it is windy but if you guys didn't know let's see here I have a windmill right there and that for me is is a good telltale sign not only watching the weather but that for me is a good telltale sign on how strong the wind is today it is calm and I erected this thing and uh, the winds just enough to you see his arm moving a little bit there in the wind it's almost like he's saying hello. But guys, check it out. 20 foot Santa Claus from Walmart. It was less than 200 bucks, believe it or not, too. So, from my family to yours, happy holidays. And we want to wish you a Merry Christmas, if you're into that. If you're not, happy holidays. But... Now I want to see if this thing can actually uh, inflate itself. If I can like put this thing on a timer. Some of these bigger items, um, depending on the strength of the motor itself, depending on the design of the inflatable, um, they're too heavy, top heavy or, or too long to inflate themselves and they need assistance going up. So I'm going to deflate this all the way now and then I'm going to just stand back and watch it to see if it'll inflate itself. So even though this is seeming like it's taking a while, which it is compared to other inflatables, you got to remember this thing is 20 feet tall, and it's probably a good six, seven feet uh, across, probably with a you know a diameter of 10, 12 feet. But the reason I say that is because that's a lot of air. The volume of air that's on the inside of this thing is probably six, seven, probably 10 times that of what's inside a smaller inflatable. So even though these fans are powerful, they're strong, and there's actually two of them. Um, it does take a little while to fill, and we are checking it now. Um, but not only am I looking to see if it'll fill itself, but a lot of times when these things fall down on themselves, um, they block the motors. They block the fan motors. Um, so they don't get adequate um, air to fill them. And also, is it strong enough to lift this thing without assistance? So that's what I'm looking for. So it doesn't look like it's getting any, any tougher until, now this is what I'm talking about. See how these motors, see how those motors are blocked? And now I'm gonna open them up so that they could get air in, in the port. And you can see this thing really starting to take, take its shape. After a while you can, you know, kind of let it go but what's important is that those motors that those fan motors are able to have unrestricted air come on the inside um, so it looks like they're clear now so now that they're clear let's see if it can erect itself 
there are there are things you could do um, to keep those those motors clear. But let's watch it now. It's going pretty good. Most uh, inflatables would have struggled getting up like this. This is this is very impressive. Yeah, it's getting there. It's doing it. So I'm impressed by that. That uh, that makes me happy that the uh, fan motors are strong enough to lift this thing. So now all I gotta do is uh, is attach something. Uh, I could do that in a later video to show you. Attach something to that. To that motor um, that way you could see that the uh, air will get in there no matter what and there you have it 20 feet <laughs> it just seems like it keeps getting bigger 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 it's not all the way up yet you can see down by its feet those materials unwrinkling Now his hand goes up because the material is getting tighter and he's up 20 feet. So that video portion of the video is 4 minutes and 50 seconds. So with the, uh, with the delay, it was probably 4 minutes. So there you have it, 4 minutes to uh, self inflate and the motors are strong enough to lift this giant thing. So I'm uh, thoroughly impressed. And as you can see from the honking, uh, people really, really take to this thing. They love it, and you can see it from, from a long distance away. One, because of the color, and two, this time of year, there's no leaves on the tree. So you can see it from a mile away. Anyways, this is Josh from the 570, and we'll see you next time. Links are in the description. We can get all my affiliate discounts. We'll see you next time. Okay, guys, to be fair, here's what the Santa Claus looks like at night it's illuminated on the inside by about uh, six or eight pretty big LEDs and she's uh, easy to see hold me close till I get up time is barely on our side